Hey guys, Doug with the Matic Rifleman. So, I wanted to take a moment today to talk about problem solving. So, pro one second, water break. I'll edit this out so you don't have to watch. Actually, no, I won't. You guys can just watch me drink water really fast. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Secondary tip for the video. Anyway, so I wanted to talk about problem solving in times of concern, whether that's a small scale vehicular emergency or a large scale um, catastrophe or whatever else. Oh, my camera's like not even. That's probably annoying. Is that better? I hope that's better. Anyway, so, oh, the glasses, ignore them. I, I had some issues with my normal, my normal pair is what it is. But now I'm like super prepared. So if something comes to my face, I don't have the problem solve having one or two less eyeballs. So that's cool, I guess. Anyway, so problem solving, right? So we live in a world of great abundance. Even right now, it's the 11th of March, 2022. And we have the Ukraine stuff going on, we have inflation going on, but we still live in a world of great abundance. And it can be really easy when you have little problems and inconveniences pop up in your life to just buy yourself out of them or to find easier solutions and actually running through the problem and, and completing it. So, uh, so today I ran into a small problem, uh, if you want to call it that, where I was running some airline hoses together for a compressor my wife and I just picked up. And I didn't have the right size wrench for one of the flats, uh, for one of the um, quick you know, quick detach uh, adapters. And uh, my inclination was just, okay, cool, I'm running out to get, pick up some stuff anyway, I need a wrench set anyways, I'll just pick one up and then do this later. But then it occurred to me, it's like, well, what if I didn't have the capacity to do that, right? So so I took account of my resources, looked at the problem and, try, and figured out a solution. And for this solution, obviously it's a pretty simple problem. Uh, I found a C-clamp, a C-clamp, the uh, larger of the two flats, to, and to have something to hold that was more stable than just trying to hold my fingers, use a wrench of the appropriate size for the smaller flat, and got it all threaded and taped up, right? But in life, it can be so tempting just to buy ourselves out of these problems and not give, give ourselves or fail ourselves the opportunity to run through these processes. And the more that your brain runs through problem solving processes, you know, taking account of your problem, taking account of your resources, and developing an expedient solution the less often your brain is given the opportunity to make those connections, the less capable you're gonna be of problem solving. So really guys, running through these processes on the small scale will give your brain the capacity to do so on the larger scale if you ever need to do so. And problem solving is problem solving. It doesn't mean, it doesn't really matter if it's a small scale or large scale problem, a tactical or strategic problem. Problem solving is problem solving. You need to define the problem define your resources and how they can be manipulated and develop an expedient plan. That's pretty much it. So don't fail yourselves the opportunities to get out there and, and run through these problems in this world of abundance, right? So at least that would be my advice. What you guys do is totally up to, do, to you. And obviously if you find yourself lacking in resources right now, um, when you come through these problems, go through the problem solving set and then fill that hole because the more resources you have, the, the easier problems are to manipulate. Uh, for example, if you need a breaker and you have a wrench set, you can you know interlink your wrenches and you've got a you've got a longer lever now. It, it'll be a little flexible, but you've got a longer lever to apply torque. So don't fail to to gather those resources that you find need. Excuse me, that you find need for, but also don't fail yourself the opportunity um, between the point of realizing you have a problem and purchasing the resources to solve said problem. In between there. Don't fail yourself the opportunity to run through, okay, what if I couldn't pick up that wrench set? How could I accomplish this without it, right? And then fill that resource so you don't have to problem solve in the future, keep your life simple, but don't fail yourself the opportunity to have that opportunity to run through the process and build that muscle, so to speak. And that would at least be my advice, guys. Um, pretty simple deal today. Just wanted to get a quick video out about that. Um, and yeah, gonna keep getting after it out here. We, uh, it's Friday today, so we're going to uh, work hard and be able to come peacefully of good heart into the Sabbath uh, as the Father's gift to us, so don't poo-poo the Father's gifts. Um, with that being said, you guys have a wonderful day. It's been Doug with the Mac Rifleman because everyone deserves good and capable riflemen. You'll have a great day.